This is Kristen Anderson, and this is my Think Aloud for Foundations of Reading Instruction. Uh, as I was going through and trying to decide which story I wanted to read, um, I saw that Don Fox had a picture, and um, pictures kind of drew me, and they just kind of add a little bit extra to the story, um, so that made me want to read it. As I was looking at the first page, I was predicting that it would be about a little boy and his dog. Um, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, I was thinking, critically thinking that um, it must be set on a farm or something. Because um, it looks like they're out in the kind of an open space, maybe out in the country a little bit on a farm. Um, and then I was also making connections, um, thinking about my dog when I was growing up, um, a black lab. And the picture just kind of reminded me of him and what he looked like. <clears throat> As I started reading, um, I looked and saw about grandfather. And so when I saw grandfather, I was thinking, okay, must be about a grandfather. He must play an important role in this chapter. Um, and then I was searching and using different information. So once I saw grandfather, then I went back to the first page and I looked at the picture closer to see if I could find the grandfather somewhere in the picture. Um, and I wasn't able to find him. So then I came back to the page three and saw that it said one day grandfather wouldn't get out of bed. And so I was using my gap filling inference and thinking that grandfather wasn't a man who would just lay in bed all day. Um, so it's, I inferred that that would be something that was out of character for him. And then I also made a personal connection of um, my grandfather used to lay in bed because um, he was really sick. And so it just made me think of when my own grandfather was sick and he would just kind of lay there and he always looked like he was in pain. In pain. Um, and then when I got to the second paragraph, at first little Willie thought he was playing. I was thinking if he thought right away his grandfather was playing, um, they must have a very playful relationship and like to joke back and forth with each other. So I was kind of filling in or doing a gap filling inference in that specific instance. Then on the next page, I was making connections again. Um, <clears throat> I made a connection to um, when the grandfather says, hurry up or you'll be eating with the chickens. And then he put the little boy Willie's food out with the chickens. Um, it made me think of my cousins when they wouldn't listen to my aunt to pick up their shoes. And so she would throw their shoes outside. Um, and at first it was funny. And my cousins obviously learned their lesson. So it made me think of that, how it was funny for the adult or other people, but not very much fun for that person. And just like Willie. He never slept in late again, just like my cousins didn't leave their shoes out. Analyzing the text um, in the third paragraph, that is dot, 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 until this morning. Um, I feel like the ellipses there really are an important thing. And so I feel like the author intentionally kind of let that linger um, to draw attention to this specific morning. Um, <clears throat> And then I was searching and using different information because Willie again thought there was only one explanation that his grandfather was playing. Um, so I was thinking back to when Willie again thought that his grandfather was playing, but he really wasn't. Um, along page five, I was making connections just with um, the dog sleeping on the front porch 
I made me think of my dog as he's sleeping on his bed or on the couch. Um, and when Willie cried out to him, come on, searchlight, it made me think of when I call out to my dog, come on, Wallace, and he jumps to his feet and then he runs wherever I'm at. Um, and then I also had just this vis visualization of the dog um, and what she looked like. And in my head, I kind of pictured my parents' dog. He was a black lab. Um, and he had a white spot on his chest. And so it made me kind of visualize the same, the same kind of thing. Um, and then even that they were born on the same day. I just pictured, you know, two little, a little baby puppy and then a little infant, um, you know, just also fresh and new. And, um, and so that was my visioning, visualizing of it. And then as I got further, I kind of was starting to question um, why the doctor continued to read, even though Willie came running and he was out of breath and it seemed like he was really distressed. Um, why the doctor just kind of um, didn't acknowledge him. So I was questioning why, as an adult, she did that. And then on the next page, inferring, and then I did a text connection, um, because I was, in the beginning, Willie thought that his grandpa was just playing a trick on him, which Doc Smith also thought that he was just playing a trick. So I was able to make those two connections and think that grandpa's kind of a trickster and he likes to play pranks on people. Um, and then an inference that I made about them going to bed early with no singing or music or anything. Um, I just was thinking that grandpa was um, not obnoxious, but just a man that was full of life and he enjoyed singing and music and um, just being lively and um, being cheerful. And so I just kind of thought that him going to bed early seemed very out of character for him as well. <clears throat> um, the next page on page seven, I just started visualizing um, Willie going to hitch up the hitch up the horse and start getting things away, get things ready, um, and then. I just thought of Searchlight again, running ahead, leading the way, and barking, and he, and, or she enjoyed a good run, um, and it just kind of, I, per, personal connection, but also visual as well, because um, there were times during the summer when I'd <laughs> bring my dog to school, even though he's not supposed to be here, and he would run down the hallway, and just barking, and run ahead, and then he'd look back and see if I was still following him. So I just pictured Spotlight running ahead of them and barking and having just a great time. And then, you know, looking back to see if they were still coming. And then I also was, um, I could see the dog putting her big paws on the bed and resting her head on grandfather's chest. My dog does that when I'm sick or I don't feel well or if I'm down. Um, and so I, I was just able to picture that in my head also because I've had my dog do it in real life. Um, and then making a prediction. It seems like at the end, Willie keeps asking questions. And um, I to me, it just seems like he's very anxiety filled now because he's very close with his grandfather and he doesn't know what's going on with him. He's not acting normally. Um, when I was on this next page, page technically eight and nine, um, I made a personal connection with the picture. Again, the dog up on the bed, um, but also the grandfather laying on his back, um, just not feeling well or being sick. And so my grandpa, again, was just like that. And so I was able to just really feel like I was a part of that picture and kind of connecting with Willie and how he probably felt stressed out. Um, and even visualizing 
like I said, visualizing myself in that picture. Um, and then that personal connection of not knowing what's going on or what's happening with him and having questions as a child, but not getting answers from adults. Um, so that was how I was feeling with these pages. Um, this page made me feel very anxious as I was reading it and the next and the next page as well. Um, I was just questioning, you know, what would be wrong with him if he's not sick and medically he's healthy, then what's going on? Um, and then when the doctor starts telling him about a person giving up for whatever reason, um, it really hit home because um, I've been in that place. And so to, to kind of give up hope, um, I was just able to connect with how grandfather was feeling um, on a more intimate level of just kind of giving up on things. Um, and then I just visualize this little boy who hears his best friend doesn't want to live anymore um, and just feels like really heartbroken essentially because his best friend is having a hard time. And then finally, um, thinking critically, um, I was just thinking about little Willie and he is just like really wanting to help make grandpa feel better. And so, um, and even Searchlight as well. And so I was just thinking these next chapters are probably going to be about him wanting um, to help make his grandfather want to live again. And then again, a personal connection with the dog. Um, there were times when I was feeling really down and low, um, and my dog would just bark or he would just nuzzle me. Um, and so I, I don't have prediction on there, but I think that there may be um, some healing with the dog and the grandson. So um, and then these are my sources that I've used for this. Talk aloud. Talk aloud. Think aloud. Um, and so, yeah. Thank you for listening.